Nick, with the uh, left ankle sprain, you're going to about to miss your fifth game. How would you say you are in the recovery process? Uh, it's been good. Uh, it's been frustrating, especially getting hurt the first game of the season, and even the way that the way I did it. But um, it's coming along. I'm day to day now, and just trying to keep keep myself in a good space, keep support my keep support my teammates. Have they given you an update on kind of what these next few games will look like, and if we could see you back here soon on the court? Honestly, it's just how it progresses. I've been doing more on the court, um, just being able to just trying to get my confidence, put put more pressure on it. Um, and we'll, we'll see how these next days go. Are you still in a walking boot or are you kind of off and on with the boot? No, I'm finished with the boot. I've been out of the boot for about a few days now. Um, um, I'm back working out. So we'll see. Are there benchmarks that you have to set or is it just a matter of pain tolerance or are there things that you have to show that you can do step by step to get on the court? I mean, it's a high ankle sprain. I don't know if anybody if any of y'all ever dealt with high ankle sprain, it's my first time. It's not fun. It's um, it's a it's a, it's pain tolerance. It's it's being good just mentally. You know, you don't want to go out there and, and put yourself in a bad um, position, especially so early in the season. So I'm just taking it day by day. You remember where what play it was that you got hurt? And I think drops it was like third quarter. Yeah, I just landed. Like I just came down. I didn't land on anybody's foot. I just kind of landed, kind of funny and. Just tweaked it. It was pretty painful. I ended up playing the rest of the game, but I was pretty hobbled. You haven't been able to really practice in jock, so you hadn't participated in shoot around since the team was on the road. How important are these next few days with being back at home and having your own training facility here and being comfortable? I'm so happy to be back home. That was a crazy road trip to start the season. It's just good, like you said, just having everything in house, not trap being in hotel rooms, going to different gyms, having everything here. Um, being able to just go home, sleep in your own bed, it's good for the, the mental, the physical. So I'm hoping to be back out there real soon. Yeah, I know it was a long time ago, but the game you guys overcame the 28-point deficit back in March against the Celtics. What do you remember about that night and Jock just kind of stressing to win the three-point battle and all, all the kind of analytic things he stresses? Yeah, everything was just fresh then. I mean, the trade had just happened probably a few few days ago or something. Um, that was a that was a huge win, um, but this year, you know, I'm just excited to see, to see the way that we've been playing, um, <coughs> shooting a lot of threes. The ball is moving, rebounding well. Everything's clicking. Um, you know, it's still early, so but we look we look real good. How does he kind of articulate the importance of the analytics and just kind of the you know marginal battles to you guys, kind of the numbers game? Yeah, I mean, 2023 analytics are huge. Um, I try not to get into too much into the analytics, but you know. We definitely pay attention to that here, and it's important. So um, we definitely put some focus on that. So what? you had it in the ice the other night. What other kind of stuff uh, have they had you doing for trying to? Uh, just ice, just the physical therapy, trying to you know loosen up all the muscles around, keeping keeping everything loose, and then it's just the process of day by day, just not rushing it, and while also pushing it, getting out there on court, doing a little bit more every day, feeling more comfortable. What's been maybe the most impressive thing you liked about this group? Obviously, getting the three wins on the road trip, but what's what's maybe been the most impressive thing you've been able to see? Really, both sides of the ball. Just just the way the ball is moving. Um, we're getting clean looks. Um, guys are knocking down shots. Everybody's playing free. And on the defensive side of the ball, we're playing small, but we're rebounding really well. Um, we're playing extremely hard, and I like the way that we're um, making it tough for the opposing teams. You mentioned you finished the, the first game. Obviously, you went on the trip. At what point did you maybe kind of realize this is something that could keep you out for a little while? Uh, after a couple of days, when I saw that it was taking a little bit longer than I expected and everybody expected. Um, like I said, it's, it's frustrating, but it's an 82-game season, so what can you do? Um, I'm not going to put myself in, in harm's way. I'm just, like I said, just taking it day by day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With this time, I know you want you wish you were out there on the court with the guys, but how has like just the off the court been, and how have you kind of like helped out also on the bench, talking to the guys, and kind of just still staying staying acclimated with the group? Yeah, sometimes it's good being able to kind of take that step back. Obviously, you know you want to play all 82 plus games out of the season, but um, you know it is what it is. So just really just watching, seeing how everybody um, is playing, and seeing the ways that I can that I can help, and just keeping that dialogue open between me and the coaches. What have you liked about Dorian Finney-Smith stepping in there and what you've seen from him on the court? He's been great, man. Um, he's been holding it down for sure, um, stretching the floor, shooting the three ball really well, 
defending in the paint, rebounding. He's definitely been the catalyst, I think, um, for these, that, that past road trip. And, you know, hopefully he can keep building.